Hey guys, Prithi Raj, I hope you guys are doing great. Now in front of me, I have the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo OLED 15 laptop. The name is pretty long, but Asus is proud of that name because this laptop has the best in class display that they have ever equipped on a creator centric laptop. And this particular laptop has a lot of good improvements going on as compared to the 2019 version that we saw a year or two ago. And it also brings a lot of new ideas to the table, which I am liking about this particular laptop. And we're going to take a look at it and I'm going to demonstrate how exactly the second display work. And I'm going to show one of my personal favorite tool that's included with the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo OLED 15. That is the ProArt control panel. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. And you're watching The Adventures of Esper. Let's begin. Okay, now let's talk about the main display on the Asus ZenBook Pro OLED 15. What we have here is a 15.6 inch 4K Ultra HD touchscreen display. And trust me, as I'm looking at it, this is one of the best displays that I've ever laid my eyes on. And it's really nice to work on and get some creative work done as well. But this is actually the second laptop in Asus lineup to get the OLED treatment. There are more laptops to come with OLED display. We can't say much just yet. But if you really want to know more, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss the videos that's coming on those laptops. That said, this particular laptop's OLED display is so beautiful to a point that it's really uh, nice to look at. And the reason why Asus chose a OLED panel once again for their creator-based laptop is because, because it has 100% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage. It offers 70% less harmful blue light it's clear at any brightness, doesn't matter at the lowest brightness or the highest brightness, you are gonna get the best, sharpest image possible. It's rated for display HDR 500 true black, so which means whatever black color that you're seeing, you are seeing the right black color rather than getting that shaded white uh, halo kind of effect that you would see on a generic LCD display. And finally, this particular display also has 0.2 millisecond response time and this particular response time makes it one of the best response time you could ever experience on a display like this now don't include gaming displays because those are totally different kind of displays but this is a more creative centric displays and having that particular refresh rate gives you as if you're almost drawing on paper with the instant reaction to the things that you do on these kind of displays Okay, the second display at the bottom is a 14.09 inch custom made 4K Ultra HD display. Now, obviously you cannot get a custom made OLED display. You could, but it's gonna drive up the cost furthermore, which is why they went for an IPS display and that's totally acceptable. Now that out of the way, we're gonna talk about the real hero of this particular display, which is the Screen Expert 2, the second generation of the Screen Expert software that we saw in the 2019 ZenBook Pro Duo. Now on the side, you have some interesting, quick accessible um, controls and these controls allow you to control the secondary display and secondary display only. So think of it as the dock for the secondary display. So what we have here is the brightness control. You can adjust it whichever way you want. Then you have the app navigator where you can rearrange and manage applications between the main display and the screen pad plus well, which means you can drag and drop whichever screen wants to be on the screen pad plus and whichever screen you want on the main display. Now that out of the way, the next thing that you have is the link to my Asus. So link to my Asus is where you can link your smartphone and take advantage of this particular panel. So once you link it up, you can actually call, you can look at messages, you can screen mirror and so on with your smartphone, whichever smartphone that you're using for. As far as I know, Android smartphone shouldn't be an issue and you can do that with link to my Asus. Next up is the disabling the keyboard because obviously if you're trying to draw on the secondary display and you may press accidentally on certain keys, you don't want that to happen. So thank goodness there is a disable keyboard button. And finally, we have the bigger trackpad button. So this allows you to use the bigger display at the bottom as a bigger trackpad to control around with your first display because the trackpad on this particular laptop the physical one is actually pretty small so say for instance if you don't have enough room to move the cursor around properly then this is a good option 
and we have the menu button so this menu consists of few applications some of the applications we have seen in the past generation like quick key quick key allows you to have uh, certain key shortcuts as you can see right here these are like frequently used shortcuts so you have cut copy paste undo select all search windows and you can add your own shortcut so you don't have to like press the shortcut all the time you can just launch quickie and press the shortcut whichever you want to perform and the next application is handwriting handwriting has been improved which i thank god it, i love it because right now it actually detects a lot more better and the moment when you start writing on it you can actually tell what exactly you're writing and also at the very same time uh, the whole uh, handwriting uh, tracking is also nice so right now let me just write my name and you can see the first thing that pops up here you can see jaya it's really nice right now and the 4096 pressure points works really well with the second generation of uh, ScreenPad Plus and the Screen Expert 2 software. I don't know if it's a hardware thing or if it's a software thing but nonetheless this is the kind of improvement that I'm looking for. Okay, handwriting out of the way, we have a number key you already have a number key on the trackpad but if you do want a number key on the screen pad plus you have that then you have other applications like app deals my asus spotify coral multicam now, coral multicam is an application that's included with the asus zenbook pro duo that allows you to do streaming and you can use the second display as some sort of stream deck to look at a b testing and so on now we're going into the control panel setting which is my personal favorite application on this particular laptop now this is a pro art centric application because pro art has this one particular application made for their second uh, or their portable display that was recently launched with a dial and all so this particular uh, control panel is available on the display but they brought it to the zenbook pro duo oled 15 and the zenbook duo now what you do have here is have an app list so this particular app list consists of applications where you can have custom controls or preset controls that's available or made by asus themselves so in front of me what we do have here is four applications we have photoshop lightroom classic after effects and premiere pro you can add your own application settings inside of it because they are also working with um, other partners in order to include their application into this uh, suite uh, so we're talking about a uh, coral studio and so on but this is interesting because this application looks very simple the moment when you open it up you will see the setting panel you can see this particular dial so this is the brush size you have a few controls undo redo flip horizontal flip vertical and these are the settings that you would use on photoshop now if you move to lightroom classic you would see these settings a little bit different so you have your zoom in zoom out temperature contrast exposure black saturation and so on these are the controls to adjust the picture and adjust the color to whichever way you like and when you move on to premiere pro you have features like this so you do have the time axis adjustment timeline zoom you can mark clip you can cut clip you can create a new project you can save the project so these kind of stuff and in fact you can even rearrange this control whichever way you like and at the bottom if you see right here you notice that this particular panel has extra controls that you can add into this panel so say for instance if i do not want this go go to out i can delete it and i can drag something else in here or say i can actually readjust this and if i want this here i can do that so but say if i don't want this entire panel right away but i want the dials to be together what i can do is i can drag and drop here confirm it and now these dials are together now i can move the other buttons inside here so these are pretty easy to use and you can notice that there are certain things you can choose within the settings itself. So say for instance, if I'm actually tapping this particular corner, I want to add a vertical slider. So this vertical slider, I want it to do system brightness, okay? Because it's important for me so that I'm not uh, editing at a lower brightness. So say at this area, I want something else. I can click again, choose a vertical scroll. And this particular vertical scroll, I want it to do a step back for 30 frames per unit voila but i don't want this to be here so i'm going to move it to the center so that it looks aligned really well so it's easy to add and once you do once you're done and once you're happy with your alignment 
and your choice of function, you can actually save and apply. Once you save, this new settings is now saved. And say if you do not want these settings, you want to re reset to the original setting that ASUS made available the first time when you bought it, you can actually reset, hit confirm, and you have your old setting. Super easy, super nice to use. Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate one particular application that I'm really familiar with, which is Lightroom Classic, because Lightroom Classic is an amazing application, especially for a dual display setup. So I have my settings right here. This is the kind of settings that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna confirm. I'm gonna launch Lightroom Classic right now, and it should launch anytime now. Okay, it's pretty fast. And as you can see right here, the panel launches immediately. And at the bottom, you see this is the control panel and uh, you don't see any of those uh, grid-like boxes that you saw on the settings. So those are completely vanished and you have all the controls right here, which is beautifully placed. Um, I wanted my zoom in and out dial on the left side and I have all the easier to switch buttons right at the bottom. Then I have all my dials right here. Now, what I'm going to do is, as you can see right here, I'm in my library and I have a few pictures that I would like to edit. And right now I have the embedded preview. Now, the thing about Lightroom Classic is that you do have extra features to take complete advantage of the secondary display. For say, for instance, if you see this panel right here at the bottom, this particular panel can be moved to a secondary display so that you can actually e manage it easier to see what are the photos that you have in your library. Now, the thing is that this particular layout overlays or overlaps on top of the control panel, so which means the control panel is not going to get closed. It's going to still stay there. Once you choose your pictures to so say, for instance, if I want picture 40, it's loaded up and I no longer want my second display, I can actually click to hide and I'll be back to my control panel. Okay, now let's edit this particular picture that I have here of this one monitor. And all I need to go is into develop. I'm going to minimize this particular bar right here because we do not need this bar because we're going to have more room to edit and i'm going to adjust this to the side and that looks pretty great okay so right now i have this particular picture and i want to zoom in and see what's going on so all i need to do is you have my hand right here and you can see me zooming into the area i can move it whichever way i want which is pretty awesome and you can see this particular movement is actually very smooth and it's pretty responsive in my opinion. I've seen other laptops that takes a really long while to get used to, but this is the one that I've seen that works really well, all thanks to the 10th generation processor and the RTX 3070 under the hood. Now this particular dial, you can actually zoom in further or you can zoom out. You can zoom out as small as you want. You can zoom in as big as you want. So it's pretty easy to work around with. And I'm gonna turn on this panel right now. So right now I'm actually looking at this particular area. I do not want any one of this back background. And I wanna change the tint. I wanna make it more colder because this is too warm for my liking. And I'm gonna adjust this particular panel right here until I got a colder tone. So that's nice. Now I wanna see if I can add any tint on top of it. So this particular tinting is too strong. So I'm just gonna move it back to the normal tint somewhere around here okay cool okay uh next up is i do not want too much of saturation in my pictures because trust me sometimes saturations uh ruin the picture so in that case what i'm gonna do is i am going to reduce the saturation as much as possible okay that's nice and sometimes you want a bit of a depth inside of this picture right so black allows you to get this really nice tone and in my opinion i want to actually get the right amount of black for the bezels because i don't want it to look so weird so i can adjust that and also at the very same time i don't know do not want the black on the other area to get affected so much so this is pretty nice exposure wise you can see it responds pretty well in the control panel so i can adjust it anywhere as possible contrast increases contrast obviously but i'm gonna decrease it because let's just keep it the way it is Clarity. Now, clarity gives this kind of uh, over sharpening, but you don't want to edit so much. And in my case, I do not want so much of over sharpening. And this is just the right amount. Uh, whites, let's see. Okay, I want whites because I want the screen to pop out. And in this case, that's a perfect amount. That's nice. Um, shadow wise, let's just reduce it. 
um, highlight wise I think we're good okay so right now I need to crop now this is the one function that I didn't add inside this panel because I like to crop in a certain manner uh, so it's better to keep it that way and let's just straighten it out a bit and click done okay so this is the picture that I want and the best part is that right now I want to see how it looks before and after and I do not want to go and look for the settings anywhere just tap the view before and after I can see the difference right away and if I tap once again I will obviously can switch between whichever mode that I want and you can see as I move around you can see the difference as I move the picture in before and after so once I'm done I can just tap the loop view and now I get back to the normal view but say if I want to rotate the picture and if I'm using a portrait picture that I want to have it in landscape I can rotate right if I'm using a landscape picture but I want to make it portrait I want to I can rotate it with a tap on the panel itself I don't have to jump back between library just to rotate and then come back to develop just to develop it every single setting is just right exactly where I want it and I can use it whichever way I want now this is how exactly this particular Pro Art control panel works on the Asus Zenbook Pro Duo OLED 15. Now you can apply this kind of same kind of settings on a Premiere Pro, you can use it on uh, After Effects, you can use it on Photoshop, whichever application that you want to use it in because it works really well. Now the reason why I wanted to demonstrate this is because not every laptop that you'd see in market that allows you to do this amount of customization. And I'm not trying to hard sell here when it comes to Asus ZenBook Pro Duo, it's just that I'm a huge fan of Asus ZenBook series because they've always offered some kind of extra uh, out of the box experience in some way. Like take for instance, the UX333 that I still use has a number pad within the trackpad and it's also easier for me to enter my pin and so on. It's a really nice feature to have you don't really need it, but they took the initiative to make it different, which is exactly what I would call this particular laptop that I have here. So the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo that I have in front of me isn't afraid to make that difference. This is the kind of difference that we want in the creator world that allows you to go further and create what you love and have the best seamless experience possible. And that's how this particular screen pad plus with the screen expert 2 is going to take complete advantage of. And I can't imagine how many people are going to get this laptop after watching this video. And I hope you guys do. And uh, if you're really a creator and if you do want to get this particular laptop, it's a really good investment, I would say. And um, that's pretty much all I have to say. And uh, if you really want to check out the specification, the performance and other aspect of this particular laptop, read our review because that's where we posted all of the other information including the battery life and so on so do read our review hope you guys like this particular video if you want to download this wallpaper you can check out in the link down in the description below but yeah huge thanks to asus malaysia for making this particular video and our review happen we will definitely catch you guys in another video so until then this is prithivirat signing off take care and i'll see you guys real soon bye